Then we will have also a new tool uh, called object, uh, automatic object dimensioning and it uh, basically creates uh, the transposer and longitudinal uh, dimensions automatically and it's really good tool for uh, for example when you're creating erection drawings so you can like in this example on the right side you can see that the holocaust slabs has, has been dimensioned and also you can create create this kind of extrema mark uh, extrema mark among the slabs and also some marking uh, inside of that for example the profile or the amount of uh, of the slabs inside of that extrema mark and the one more possibility uh, for the dimension adding is the is the location from the grid so you can dimension kind of the how how far is the edge from from the nearest grid so this will be released also in Tecla Warehouse. And here is one more specific example of Holocaust where you can find the tool very, very good. So often you may not have kind of precise number or precise width for the Holocaust profile. You might have some three millimeters or something on the gap. Here I have 10 millimeters, but basically you still want to dimension those to the middle of, of the gap. So with this tool, you can set a variable for for the dimension where when it should kind of dimension uh, to the middle of the gap and here you can see kind of how how the uh, dimensioning has been done in this kind of example this has been requested a lot because uh, manually this is a bit tedious job and here is a small video of the tool in action so basically the slap example select the tools Press create button and it will add all of those dimensions and the extrema mark automatically. And another example, if you want to use it for walls, you can create the longitudinal dimensions and the location from the grid. And here rest of the walls are selected and dimensions created. So you can see that it measures the gaps and also the total lengths of, of the walls. So definitely helps in the erection drawings. And finally, I would like to mention about this extension of, of linking documents to Trimble Connect. So basically, um, when you have uh, synchronized your IFC to Trimble Connect Cloud, uh, you can automatically extract, uh, for example, the cast unit drawings to the cloud and those will be linked to the actual objects in the IFC file. So when your user opens the IFC model with Trimble Connect, they can see that there's linked items and then open, for example, the cast and job drawing from that individual element. One great feature also in the tool is to export the precast elements as individual IFC files. So this makes it much more easier, for example, in the fabrication, just to open the files of an individual precast element and not the whole model and find the correct element from there.